Hi, hi everyone. Right now I'm with Roman Mandalel, who uh, who does a couple of very interesting things. Uh, he's the core developer for Ethereum uh, J uh, and hack.ether.camp. And if you have ever used the ether.camp block explorer, he's the he's he's in in the team that built that block explorer. First, let's have an introduction from Roman. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. So, this is interesting. I started this Ethereum Java project just for study, because uh, back then, in the start of Ethereum, like there was no good way to study about Ethereum, and everybody was busy developing the first versions. So, the best way was just to uh, write, go right away and develop this. So, this was the, the first days of Ethereum Java. And then I realized that people actually want to use Java and a lot of organization asking for this. So I have continued with this and formed the company and, and, and we call this at Ethercam. And we building more and more interesting tools around Ethereum because we believe that we just started. And uh, all the tools that I mentioned, they, they are just ideas that we found on the way. So what kind of tools are you building? Yeah. Mention them one by one. Yeah, so we started after Ethereum Java core was uh, was kind of a reality and was working very well. Our main focus was to scan the network and give you all the information uh, about smart contracts, statistics, but also how the smart contracts executing internally. So. <coughs> Uh, not always you can do this information without actually managing the full core and the full network. So we was using Ethereum J uh, core implementation to understand internally how the network, how the network has been built, how the contract was designed, and we we mostly can reverse engineer and give you pretty much good understanding already about what contract is doing and each transaction that hit this contract what it what it is doing so it's the first tool that is, that is a block explorer right yeah so block explorer terminology is kind of from the bitcoin because bitcoin is all about blocks and it does not have nothing else blocks 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 okay. but in ethereum we have something more we have the uh, the secured state and uh, we have the smart contracts on this state and storage and all, all, all this stuff. But people still calling this a block explorer because we study from Bitcoin. But this is a little bit more, it's an analytic tool. And um, okay, I, I don't mind people to call it block explorer, but it's just Ethereum world that's a little bit more richer than the Bitcoin world. So yeah, this is the first one. Okay, and what other tools did you build? Okay, so after we was done with this one, no, not pretty much done, it's in roadmap and it's going can develop more, but we we noticed that uh, solidity development is still hard uh, so we kind of uh, uh, teamed up with cloud nine guys and took as a base their id and developed our stuff on top of their id and uh, we are talking with them for some partnership so we developed an id complete id for a bit prototyping for ethereum environment like you can very very easy if you know web usual development like angular or all libraries that people use meteor whatever you name it you can very very easy take this knowledge develop your ui and then you have ethereum in sandbox basically ethereum in a box inside your ide and it works very very well whatever you can do with real ethereum you can do with this one and uh, you you should try it like we, we are going to what's, every... what's the name so we call it the uh, ethereum either camp ide Okay. Basically, this was the name. And what what exactly is an IDE? An IDE is a is a development tool that allows you yeah. to write your Solidity code, right. uh, debug it, right, deploy it, send transactions to it, see what the transactions do, and if they result in any error or not, right. And basically, test and then iterate on. Right. This is basically the full suite. It it gives you everything. It gives you the the, the ability to do deal with the smart contracts. Uh, to deploy them to the local uh, test environment, to deploy it to the far real environment, actually pay some real money either for storing them there. And it also gives you the ability to develop the full application because you can do a web application, you can do all 
all what developer needs to debug, to build, to debug, do the cycle, then deploy to their own network. And and finally, you have I think uh, a hackathon as well, right? Okay, so yeah, thanks. So basically, after we uh, we got this idea and we, we saw that we are on the right path and people actually love it, so we kind of was asking ourselves what company we want to be, and when people started to ask us to 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 buy the idea and pay our money, so we kind of started asking, okay, we love Ethereum, but do we want to be this company that sell licensing? And the answer was yes and no. Like, sell licenses is cool, it give us money to continue and develop cool stuff, give us some air, give us some time. But we don't want to be just licensing company. And then we were sitting around the table and say, hey, we have this ID, and it is on the web. And uh, okay, this is nice, everybody can go online and form a team because it's also a multi-user. You can, co you, can, you can collaborate on this team like a team of four people or two people or whatever and, and work together peer-to-peer, -to -peer, uh, like pair programming, you can do pair programming and collaborate totally. So this is very awesome experience, it's much more than an ID. It's a camp of people building something, this is how the camp started sounds more, much more interesting. Then we say, okay. We are going to hackathons all the time. We are traveling kilometers, miles. We flying to the countries to meet people and code together and get to this competition. Hey, why shouldn't we do one hackathon completely online? So you just don't leave your couch and you can go to your and invite your friends and form a camp and have this competition online. And all the audience actually can go to this ID in read-only mode so they cannot damage any of your work, but they can see, like, stand behind the shoulder of the developer and see exactly what he is developing. And then, thanks. And then we took it a little bit far and say, okay, so we have this, and we have, so we can, we need to decide who is the winner. So we go f a little bit, couple of steps further and say, okay, let's give the audience ability to, to give likes and kudos for the, for, for the project they like. And this is going to be what will decide who is the winner. And we will invite in judges from the, from the industry. And most of them also are already approved. We have very, very nice list of people, very experienced, wanted to judge on the competition. So judges got more kudos to give. And what's really interesting here that all this is managed by the blockchain. So all these likes, yeah, yeah, so this is completely transparent system, so there is no cheating available, like you can have these people and you can, if you don't believe us, you can just go to any block explorer and check out how this uh, kudos was given and see all the transactions. So this likes and this kudos is actually money, a real token, you know. And then we added some nice functionality, like you can give a beer. For, you can buy a beer for, for, for a team that you like, so you can actually give them a little bit either. Okay, so let's get that right. What you have essentially done is collaborative hacking, where people dis sitting in different places around the world are gathered together in an integrated development environment. Right. And they're creating their own applications. There, there are viewers that can see what everyone is creating. Right. They can give likes or kudos to people that are doing this, and right. there are judges that have extra likes and kudos to give. Right. And at the end of this event, you total up how many likes or kudos everyone got, and you have winners or something like that. Oh yeah, we have a nice reward for them. That's we already we already decided that 5,000 ether is going to be first reward, but we're also looking for sponsors to, to, to have their logo on the hackathon. So maybe the sponsors will step in and put us some money for this, so maybe we'll increase this reward. Uh -huh. So 5,000 ether is also a nice reward for a developer sitting then in the woods of Guatemala and want to do smart contracts, right? So it's there. Yeah. It's wow. there. And the whole thing is actually managed on the blockchain. So you can see the uh, likes on the blockchain. And can the money also be managed in the blockchain, the 5,000 ethers that you're giving as a award? Can that sit in a smart contract, see what likes came in, and after yeah. the competition yeah. uh, flow directly to the winners? Yeah, so for now, we, 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 we discussed it. Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you go in the right direction, absolutely. We discussed this on our team. We just was so busy doing the, the, the very uh, crazy stuff that I described. So this is the easy stuff, you know, because log 5,000 ether in some contract, it is an easy.
crazy stuff. So we actually didn't put some in, any any work in this because I can just transfer the, the 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 reward for the winner, and I would love to do it. Like I will not cheat. Like <laughs> there is no way that I'm going to cheat on this one. But in the future, it's going to be very very smart contract oriented. We just want to put effort on the very innovation. It's not an innovation. It's it's already in the, the, the reality. Like it's not a real innovation. But you, you're right. It should be also a smart contract. The rewards should be also a smart contract. But basically, maybe we are going to have more rewards, like a first, second, and third place, and then it's a little bit tricky. So we need to develop this yet, right? So you basically, you have you have built is the first distributed <coughs> autonomous hackathon. Oh yeah, we are talking about this like decentralized hackathon. You know, we are living in the in the absolutely amazing world because. People 20 years ago was talking about, hey, let's go to Silicon Valley, buy a garage and develop a startup. So today we still developing startup in the garages, but the garage does not have to be in Silicon Valley. It can be in the, you know, in, in, in Thailand or, or in Australia. And people from Thailand and Australia can go together, you know, and maybe get somebody from Russia and form together a team and be successful, fulfill, do the startup. Actually, this is very interesting because a real uh, seed investors talking with us to look into this team that are going to participate in the hackathon to look for the shiny stars. So this is going to be not just about 5,000 liter, maybe it's going to be about much, much more because investors are looking for smart teams with smart ideas to just jump in and, and take them. And it, it's going to be much more than the hackathon, I believe so. Okay. So uh, for me, the only thing I'm missing is, uh, is virtual reality. What if, <laughs> what if you could you could basically do the hackathon, and on virtual reality you are actually in the same space while you're doing it? Oh, this is awesome. You know, uh, first time I I, I used uh, Oculus Rift like three weeks ago. Some some uh, friend of mine here in London showed it to me, and this is amazing technology. And I like, I was a gamer kid, so I want to try it more and more. Yeah, but uh, we, we have a. <laughs> A, a walk to do. A walk to do. Yeah. So when is the hackathon? Okay, so we decided on uh, this hack.eater.com as a demo website is already there. So everybody can go to hack.eater.com and see how it looks like. It also has an auto invite to our Slack. So people just jump to our Slack uh, and we have more than 100 people already there and they're waiting to try the ID before the hackathon actually starts. And I actually invite everybody else to do the same. And the hackathon, we are planning for the first day of the winter. So it's going to be December 1st. And this is why we're talking about, hey, winter is coming, prepare yourself, right? So winter is coming and the December 1st, I believe we will uh, start this hackathon. Uh, we didn't decide if it's going to be three days or five days, uh, but it's very open. Uh, you don't need to travel to any place. You can develop in your free time. Uh, nothing is limited. You, you just need to decide with your uh, team how you want to manage this. Uh, but December 1st is the date. So where can our viewers find out more about your hackathon? Sorry? Where can our listeners find out more about your hackathon? Yeah, so the hack.eater.camp is there. Uh, it's pretty much, it displays the idea. It has uh, all the teams, uh, sort of demo teams. You can see how, how it's going to work. And if you get this auto invite to our Slack and you jump into our Slack, in a couple of days you are going to get an environment, complete environment, to work with your team and to, to study how to be better and prepare yourself for this hackathon. And where can our listeners get in touch with you? Sorry? Where can our listeners get in touch with you? With me, on, on the Slack, I'm there. I'm there, we call it Ethercamp Friends Slack. And there is, uh, I believe it's already 110 guys there, like, talking with us and asking questions privately or publicly. And it's going to be also during the hackathon. Like if there is questions during the hackathon, it's going to be there. And we actually, for the next hackathons, we're building some integration with our website. So on your website, you also can, are going to be able to see what's going on into the Slack because we need the chat system with all people to communicate. Okay. So everyone, check out hack.ether.camp. The hackathon starts on the 1st of December. It's the first distributed autonomous hackathon oh, yeah. with quite a bit of the functionality managed by the Ethereum blockchain itself. So Roman, it was great to have you on the show. Oh, this is a pleasure. Thank you.